Hi, so I saw the uh, video yesterday from the doctor for the first time on Facebook um, explaining how to breathe if you have COVID-19. And I've been thinking over the last few weeks how I wish I could do more to help with what's going on. I'm not a frontline worker, I'm a Pilates instructor. All I've been doing is putting videos on YouTube and live classes with my clients. And something struck me when he was doing this the video about teaching people how to breathe. Um, and I suddenly thought, why are we just learning how to breathe if we have the virus? So many of the population, it's a well-known fact, don't breathe properly on a day-to-day -day basis. We're not taught to breathe. We come into the world as a baby, a doctor slaps us on the back. We take our first breath and that's it. We just breathe. It's a natural thing. Um, but we don't breathe properly. We don't use our lungs efficiently. Those of you who do yoga and Pilates probably do. Um, or have, have asthma or COPD or anything like that and have been taught how to breathe properly. But so many of my clients that come to me to do Pilates for the first time aren't actually breathing properly. When I'm teaching people exercises in the gym, they're not breathing properly. Um, and it's so important to breathe properly, to get that oxygen on board. As the doctor explained, you know, where your lungs sit in your thoracic cavity, where you need to send that breath in. So important for oxygenation of your blood, for anxiety and stress. What do you say when someone's stressed? Stop, take a deep breath. And that's what we need to do. The world needs to just stop. We need to stop and take a few deep breaths and think about our breathing. Breathe in the correct way. Not just practice it once a day, but when you're throughout the day, suddenly think, whoa, am I shallow breathing? Am I just breathing here? Am I breathing quickly? Do I just need to slow down and breathe properly? So I'm gonna teach you how to breathe properly today. Um, especially if you're a high risk person. This is for kids, this is for teenagers, this is for adults, this is for the grandmas, the granddads, this is for everyone out there. You need to share this, have this information and share the hell out of it with everyone. Um, because this isn't just for when you have got the virus, this is to get your lungs healthy, to prepare you if you do get it and if you have had it to help you recover. All right, so the main important parts with the breathing is that we breathe in through the nose. If you're very congested, congested, you'll have to breathe through in through your mouth. We breathe in through the nose, a nice slow deep breath. It comes in here, the back and the sides of the rib cage, and you take the breath down deep to the lower lobes of the lungs. When you exhale, it's as if you're blowing out a candle, just slightly pursed lips, and exhale like that, okay? The other thing we need to think about, and the doctor did explain it with the COVID-19, how you hold the breath. We're going to hold it in two ways. When you've taken a breath in, you're going to hold the breath. Don't hold it for too long, just a short break while you don't do anything, just hold the breath. Then at the end of the exhale, before you naturally take another breath in, again, don't breathe, just hold it for a couple of seconds and then take a breath in. I suggest you do it sitting down for the first time because it can make you feel a little bit dizzy. Um, suddenly getting all that oxygen on board and focusing on the breathing. So do sit down and close your eyes if you can. It just cuts off all the other distractions and lets you just be in the moment and just think about what you're doing. It'll allow you to visualize what's happening with your lungs. Imagine your rib cage splaying open and closing again. All right, so what I want you to do now is take a deep breath in through your nose. I close your eyes and send that breath into the back and the sides of the rib cage, and then hold that breath. When you feel ready, exhale through slightly pursed lips, as if you're blowing out a candle. And then don't take another breath in just yet, hold that. Then breathe in again through your nose, flaring those ribs, sending that breath in back and sides, nice and deep. Hold that breath just a couple of seconds, and then when you're ready, Exhale, nice long breath out. Don't breathe in just yet, hold it. And now breathe in again through your nose. Back and sides, make sure you're sitting up nice and tall so you can open the ribs, hold that breath. Exhale through your mouth. Don't breathe in just yet, hold that. And now breathe in through your nose, back and sides. So recognize the gap in between the breath in and the breath out. Exhale. Don't do anything, hold. Last time, deep breath in through your nose. Hold that breath. And then breathing out through pursed lips. Exhale again, once just hold that. And then when you breathe in, open your eyes. 
It is as simple as that. So if you're feeling stressed or anxious, this is a great breathing practice to do. Um, anyway, throughout the day, like I said, think about how you're breathing, but definitely do it once a day. When you go to bed at night, if you think, oh, I'm feeling really quite stressed, turn off all social media, phones, iPads, anything like that, read a book, just lie there and focus on your breathing. If you wake up in the night, do your breathing. It might not necessarily send you back to sleep, but at least you're relaxed and you're breathing properly. So please, 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 this can really, really help, not just if you have the virus. If you've got the virus, you need to do what the doctor said with adding the cough on and lying in the front with the pillow. Without the virus, haven't suffered yet, have suffered and are recovering, please everyone, mums teach your kids, kids teach your parents, teach your grandparents, share it with everyone. Breathe, take a breath. Thank you.